Tobiko. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I thank you. And uh, Mr. Speaker, throughout this uh, impeachment uh, uh, petition, Mr. Speaker, I took my time to listen to both sides without trying to take, um, to give my advice to my sister, as was expected by many Kenyans and by many people in Meru. Mr. Speaker, uh, the counsel for the county assembly, Thiangolu, has said that quite a number of uh, charges were like repetitions of the same charges that were in the first impeachment, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, then I don't know whether this was just an appeal of what this House had already made a decision on, Mr. Speaker. They could be allowed by law, Mr. Speaker, but I don't think they should have then taken uh, wasted the time of this House, Mr. Speaker. But Mr. Speaker, because of time, my submission this evening, Mr. Speaker, is that there could be administrative omissions and commissions. But Mr. Speaker, do they meet the threshold of impeachment, Mr. Speaker? As far as I'm concerned, these are non-impeachable offenses, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, what we have uh, seen it to the, throughout these two days is hounding of a woman out of office through emotional abuse, through intimidation, through slander, Mr. Speaker, through threats on her life, Mr. Speaker. We have also seen tribal and ethnic profiling, Mr. Speaker, issues that I think NCIC should pick up, Mr. Speaker. And I would want, Mr. Speaker, to advise uh, the governor of Meru that whatever happens to you this evening, there are cases here that you should take to court, Mr. Speaker. This is very scary to aspiring women of this country. Mr. Speaker, I, I kept asking myself, is this what is awaiting the women governors in this country, Mr. Speaker? Those who will try to get into the political um, uh, in, uh, positions that are the domain of, of uh, men in this country, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I would say that what the county has continued to pursue is what the Angolu had uh, uh, mentioned the other time, that the, the election brought undesired consequences, Mr. Speaker. They must live with their choice, Mr. Speaker. As far as I'm concerned, the Meru people elected Governor Kawera Mwangaza, and, and the will of the people is supreme, and they must live with their choice for the next five years. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Senator Sifuna. Mr. Speaker, on my first day in this house, 